Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to you humbly, giving you praise, thanks, and honor. We glorify and magnify your name, for you are worthy of our praise day in and day out, morning, noon, and night. Father, we should be worshiping and praising you always because you're always on time and you're always a good and mighty Father. We love you. Father God, we're coming to you today because we need protection. We need security in our homes and our coming and our going. We need protection and security for our relationships, for our family members, for our finances, for our ministry, for our business. We need protection over our neighborhoods and our nation, oh Father. We need you in this moment and we trust in you. Father, as I read Psalm 91 in the KJV version, it's security for the one who trusts in the Lord. We're trusting in you, O oh Father. And as I recite this scripture, I believe that it is so and we are secured in the spiritual realm. Psalm 91 says, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high God shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and, and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust his truth shall be thy shield and buckler thou shalt not be afraid of for the terror by night nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday a thousand shall fall at my side and ten thousand in my right hand but it shall not come nigh thee only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked because thou hast made the lord which is my refuge even the most high thy habitation there shall no evil before thee Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, for he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adler, the young lion and the dragon thou shalt trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble, I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and shew him my salvation. Father, whatever plague could be coming this year in 2024, in any year that anybody hears this prayer, oh Father, I'm praying that none of the plagues shall come near our dwelling according to Psalm 91 and 10. There shall be no evil that befalls us, oh Father. Keep your angels around us to protect us and guard us in all our ways. We deploy the angels to be with us as we're sleeping, to be with our children as they're sleeping, to be with our spouses as they're sleeping, to be with our family members as they're sleeping, to be with our colleagues as they're sleeping, to be with our neighbors as they're sleeping. May the angels go before us make our cricket pass straight removing any and all traps of the enemy any and all assignments that the enemy has placed upon our lives that are of evil when it comes to death destruction any sinful activities oh father we remove all of those satanic activities right now in the name of jesus because the blood of jesus is the ruler and ranker over all of those so we apply the blood of jesus and we seal it is done null and void O oh Lord, any trouble that's headed our way, O oh Father, may you deliver us and be with us every single step of the way, O oh Father. Any of those troubles that we are not aware of, O oh Father, we place upon us the full armor of God so that we can stand against any devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. So therefore, Father, we put on the full armor of God right now. We stand firm right now with the belt of truth buckled around our waist, with the breastplate of righteousness in place, and with our feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all of this, we're taking up the shield of faith, O oh Father, which can extinguish all of the flaming arrows of the evil one. We also take on the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And we pray in the spirit on all occasions with all kinds of prayers and requests. And we pray that you hear us, O oh Father. We believe by faith we have the full armor of God on. We put the full armor of God upon our family members. We Father, we thank you for hearing our prayer. We thank you for delivering us and saving us. We thank you for your security blanket that you placed upon us. We, we thank you for protecting our family members, all of our loved ones, O oh Father, our friends, O oh Father, our business partners, O oh Father. We thank you for saving all of those who are connected to us in the spirit realm. We apply the blood of Jesus to this prayer as well as over our lives, over the lives of our family members and friends and everybody that's connected to us. For we know that the blood of Jesus speaks better things than that of Abel. And we thank you, Father. We bless you. We glorify you. By faith, we know that you've heard our prayer. By faith, we know that you have kept us from the evil one. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, we give you thanks and praise. Amen.